Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital Spoilers Tuesday, April 2. John's Takedown, Jason's Intel, Dex's Interview, Drew and Nina's Dynamic. There's a lot of exciting action coming up in Port Charles Tuesday, April 2. General Hospital spoilers for Tuesday, April 2 show that John Cates, Adam Harrington, has a new strategy to defeat Pikeman. Coming up on General Hospital, Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, discusses information with Anna Devane, Fanola Hughes, Dex Heller, Evan Hofer, interviews with the Port Charles Police Department. Additionally, Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, and Nina Reeves Corinthos, Cynthia Watros, engage at Crimson Magazine. Continue reading to find out what's coming next on the ABC Soak Show. According to GH Teasers for Tuesday, April 2, John will devise a new strategy to defeat Pikeman. In a preview clip, John speaks with Jason. So far, nothing John has tried has worked out successfully. G here is spoiler, Jason Morgan's intel. Jason, for his part, will appear in sequences alongside Anna. After Anna confronts Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, the Port Charles Police Commissioner speaks with Jason. It is hinted that Jason would reveal some facts to Anna. What Anna doesn't realize is that Sonny's behavior will worsen once those place spavos enter his bloodstream. General Hospital spoilers for Tuesday, April 2 indicate that Dex Heller will interview with the Port Charles Police Department. Anna believes Dex may help the police department, particularly with Sonny. However, will Dex truly expose or pursue Sonny? Dex is not disloyal, despite the fact that they have parted ways and are no longer on good terms. So we don't see Dex going after Sonny in the way Anna hopes. General Hospital spoilers for Tuesday, April 2, 2024. On Tuesday, April 2, fans can anticipate Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, and Michael Corinthos, Chad Duell, to make confessions. A wary Carly listens as Willow reveals that she thought they had told each other everything. Willow is clearly chatting to Carly about Michael. Stella Henry, Vernie Watson, confronts Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner, about hiding his progress from his loved ones. Anna seeks answers as she makes her claim to jurisdiction. Drew also faces up with Nina at Crimson Magazine. Drew has requested Nina to return to the magazine, but this does not guarantee a smooth working relationship. We have a feeling Drew is planning something major. Meanwhile, what will Nina do when she finds out about Valentine Cassadine's, James Patrick Stewart, plans? Could this be Nina's chance for a true redemption story? Which narrative are you most looking forward to witnessing on Tuesday, April 2, 2024? Share your opinions in the comments area below. Remember to keep watching ABC soap operas to see what happens next. General Hospital Weekly Video Preview New Partnership, Shocking Realization, Enemy Spa, and First Steps General Hospital Spoilers and Updates for the week of April 1-5, 2024 Reveal fresh plans, confirmations, first steps, and interrogations. Coming up on General Hospital, John Jagger Cates, Adam Harrington, devises a new strategy, Dante Falconeri, Dominic Zamprogna, provides confirmation, Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner, makes the first steps, and Anna Devane, Fanola Hughes, interrogates. John Cates' new plans. Anna and Jason Morgan, Steve Burton confirms details of his new contact, are seen at Anna's office at the Port Charles Police Department, where she tells him they share common goals. Jason closes his eyes as Jagger is shown with a fresh plot to defeat Pikeman. The three of them appear to be working together now, and Jagger is no longer keeping Jason's objective a secret from Anna. The three of them discuss the operation, as Jason remains skeptical of Jagger and the mission he does not want to jeopardize. If Jason is successful, something will happen that he cannot live with. Will he tell Anna privately? Dante Falconery's confirmation. At the hospital, Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, 
is in his son Dante's room, where Dante is no longer on life support but remains in bed. Dante verifies that Jason was not his shooter and now adds that Jason has been working for the feds, apparently after being updated. Sonny is taken aback and replies, I mean working for the feds. Dante suspects there's more going on here, who is Jason protecting, and did Jason or Anna inform Dante of his mission? Sonny will continue to have difficulty trusting what he learns about Jason. Curtis Ashford's First Steps Curtis takes his first steps out of his wheelchair at the Ashford slash Robinson home, following weeks of treatment and an experimental surgery to restore his full skills. Curtis appears to be in discomfort as he carefully rises to his feet, attempting to put his best foot forward. There's nothing else to hold on to ahead of him, and those feet are wearing dress shoes, which may not be the finest decision. Curtis will require strong traction, and a wooden floor with no carpet may not be the ideal option for him to take his first steps. Anna Devane's interrogation. It appears Anna has gone to Pentonville to question John Brennan, Charles Majeur, about Pikeman. She buttonholes the disgraced former WSB director, who appears to be smiling at her as she says, someone has to be running Pikeman, who? Brennan plainly believes he will have the final laugh, since he is aware that Anna's ex-boyfriend Valentine Cassadine, James Patrick Stewart, has stepped up to oversee Pikeman in Brennan's absence. Brennan is likely to play ignorant or give Anna false leads, as he cannot disclose his replacement without repercussions for both him and Valentine. General hospital spoilers and rumors teaser Valentine Cassadine, James Patrick Stewart, isn't working for Pikeman or attempting to take down Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard. Instead, as the FBI's John Jagger Cates, Adam Harrington, pushed Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, to do, he has infiltrated Pikeman for the WSB and is playing Jack Brennan, Charles Monsieur. General Hospital Spoilers Valentine Cassadine has old Pikeman contacts. Without a doubt, Valentine has old Pikeman contacts from his mercenary days, when he helped oversee the Pikeman Security Group. However, when Sonny first made contact with them, Valentin told him to keep his distance. Why would he do that if he was intended to murder him? Valentin graduated from WSB spy school as a counterintelligence analyst and one of their finest and brightest, going under the name Ivan Theodore. Brennan is one of the unscrupulous WSB operatives that worked for Valentin's late father, Victor Cassadine, Charles Shaughnessy, while he was the head of the WSB. Valentin has made it his goal to clean up his father's mess, including his WSB disaster, so he's essentially operating as a double agent under the current director. G.H. Spoilers Valentin Cassadine's story was well thought out Bull Valentin's story to Jack was well thought out and credible, essentially telling him what he wanted to hear. Sonny may be off his pills, but not because Valentin replaced them with placebos, Rather, Sonny is paranoid and continuously drinks, which he cannot do while on medication. Sonny's decision to turn to booze for consolation rather than staying on his bipolar disorder medications is entirely his fault. Valentin learns this from Nina Rees Corinthos, Cynthia Watros, who is concerned. In addition to Valentin's knowledge of the name Stone and the fact that the person they're looking for is a ghost, the WSB has placed bugs that Valentine has been monitoring. The true boss who has been working with Brennan and Roman Hume, Mark Engelhart, is still unknown, but Valentine acts as if he is a part of it because he is undercover. So he and Jason have been performing the same thing with the same purpose, although Jason was blackmailed by the FBI's Jagger, whilst Valentine took on this task voluntarily for the WSB. Anna Devane, Fanola Hughes is unaware of this because she no longer has WSB access, and Brennan was responsible for her dismissal. He dismissed Frisco Jones, Jack Wagner. Valentine and Anna have been together for a long time, thus he is well aware of her daughter Robin Scorpio Drake, Kimberly Nicolo, and her adolescent boyfriend Stone Cates, Michael Sutton. He also knows about Jagger and Jason's history, so he has all the resources he needs to continue his infiltration 
and find the person known as Stone. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.